for step 17, attaching the arm pivots. Well, you can see that we're gonna need to grab these pieces off of parts tree C, and then we have this one right here on parts tree F, and then it's just a bunch of screws. And I, you can see I've got them all here, but here are those four parts and this one off the F parts tree. But here's the interesting thing. You'll notice that these are, that's C6, C6, C5, C5. Now, you could say, well, wait a minute, once I've cut them off the parts tree, am I going to get this confused? Well, in this case, no, you're not. Because if I grab one of these parts, you can see on the back side, this says A. So even though I've cut them off of C6, or I should say parts tree C, you can see that they're already labeled A, A, B, B. So you're not going to get them confused if you cut them all off first. So that's kind of nice. You don't see that very often. Anyway, I will set this up and let's put them on. So let's start with this one right here, which you can see C5, it's a B. If I grab this one, you can see that it has the uh, B designation right there. And you'll notice here, we've got the two screws and the little X symbol, so no garbage or whatever that thing is. Well, that's this one right here. So we're going to place this here. Now, there's only one way you can do it if you get confused, because if you see this, it's resting up against this other um, spot where the screw went in, so it doesn't fit. So you need to turn this over, because it actually is going to sit like that. And the B, the B designation, it's actually on that top part. So that makes it easy to know where that's going to sit. So if we grab one of the screws, Put that in there, put that in there. And let's start this process. Just wanna make sure that that's going in correctly. Yes, it is. Cause you can see we're onto the back two of those holes, not the farthest forward. Fine. So I want to put the other one in just to make sure that it's sitting correctly. And these screws are going in actually pretty um, pretty nicely. And they're pretty long too. But I guess they maybe they kind of have to be because this is where your suspension arms are going to attach. So you want to make sure that these are pretty sturdy. Anyways, there we go. So there is one of them on. Perfect. So now we can do the other one, which is the A. So let's grab, what do we got here? There is the A, and I'm sure it's going to be the same sort of scenario where A is going to be facing back, which it is. So we can stick our screw in there. Just start it. Yep, that's fine. 
And we'll put the other one in as well. Whoops. But you get the idea. So what I'll do is I'm just going to do the same thing for the other two. Um, I, as it's pretty much the same thing, not much point in you seeing this whole process. You kind of get the idea. So I'll just do the other two and uh, then we'll move on to that last other bracket that has to go on. Okay, so there we have all four of the arm pivot brackets in place. So the next bit is putting on this bracket. Well, I forgot to hit record. So I've actually put the bracket on already. And it was pretty, I mean, it's super simple in that you can see that there's a raised edge to this. Well, that side has the raised edge. The back side is flat. Um, so this side goes on and you can see we're just using the same two kind of screws and putting them right there. Um, and they just fit very easily. So it was, pretty simple to do so it's okay that uh, it's not on camera I'm sure you can figure that one out um, but now now that is complete so now that we're finished step 17 we're gonna move on to step 18 and start working with the differentials so we're now into bag C as well mm -hmm. 